when, when 40 factorial is expressed in base 8 form, what is the last non-zero digit in the base 8 expansion? The question itself gives us away one bit. That a few of the last digits are going to be 0. We write this 40 factorial in base 8. We are going to have a few zeros. Right. That much is a the question is hinting at that. Right. Now let's find out how many zeros are there. Then we will come to the rest of the question. How many zeros should be there? Or what is the highest, if, if, if a base 8 number ends in 3 zeros, let's say it is A, B, C into 3 zeros, base 8. That means it is A, B, C, base 8 into 1000, base 8. Or it is A, B, C, base 8 into 8 cube. Or in other words, what is the highest power of 8 that divides 40 factorial? Now we need to find the highest power of 8 that divides 40 factorial. Let's find that. Let's find the highest power of 8 that divides 40 factorial and then we'll decide how many, we'll, with that we'll figure out how many zeros are there. Then we'll slowly move on to what is the last non-zero digit, all of that. Right. Highest power of 8 that divides 40 factorial. We cannot find the highest power of 8 that divides this directly. We can find highest power of 2 that divides 40 factorial and then we'll build on that. Highest power of 2 that divides 40 factorial is 40 by 2 integer part of that which is 20 plus 20 by 2 10, 10 by 2 5, 5 by 2 2, 2 by 2 1. Remember why are we doing this? We are counting the number of 2s, number of 4s, number of 8s, number of 16s, number of 32s. Why are we doing that? Every multiple of 2 gives us a 2. Every multiple of 4 gives us 2 2s or an additional 2. Multiple of 8 will give us 3 2s or a further additional 2 and so on. 20, 30, 35, 38. And so let's scroll this down a little bit further. It's a very good question. It's a tough question. So now we know that this 40 factorial is a multiple of 2 power 38. 2 power 38 into something. It is not a multiple of 2 power 39 but a multiple of 2 power 38. We want to find out it is 2 cube raised to the power what? 8 power what? What is the highest number that we can accommodate there? 2 cube power 10 is 2 power 30. That can be accommodated. 2 cube power 20 is 2 power 60. We don't have 62s with us. So what is the highest power of 2 cube that can sit inside the number? Just 2 cube whole power 12. That is 2 power 36 into 2 square into something. Remember this something is an odd number. This is not a multiple of 2. You collected all the 2's, put that together. So this 40 factorial, I am going to scroll down a little bit more. This 40 factorial, if it is expressed in base 8 form, it will have 12 zeros. 2 cube whole power 12. But remember, that is not what we have been asked. We have been asked, what is the last non-zero digit, this digit? What is that? That can be 1 of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But our job is to find what that is going to be. Okay. Now, I am going to write this 40 factorial. This 40 factorial can be written as some number ending with say A, B, C, D, E, F, some P into 8 power 12. Now, this number, it is a multiple of 4. Why are we saying it's a multiple of 4? Because after accommodating the 12 eights, we still left with a 2 square here. 2 square into an odd number. The 2 square is still left out. So we have a multiple of 4. So this number that we are looking for is a multiple of 4, but not a multiple of 8. It's a very important idea. I'm representing a number that's a multiple of 4 but not a multiple of 8 in base 8 form. What will be the last digit? You think about this, if I have a number which is 33 in base 8, this is 3 into 8 plus 3. It's not a multiple of 8, it's a multiple of 8 plus 3. The last digit, this number, we are looking at 3 into 8 plus 3. This number practically gives the reminder when I divide this number by 8. Right? So, if I have a number that is a multiple of 4 but not a multiple of 8, 
So I have a number which is A, B, C, D, etc., etc. What should be this digit? This everything before that digit till then that is a multiple of eight plus something. A multiple of eight plus something has to be a multiple of four, but not a multiple of eight. Or this digit should be four. This number should be of the form eight k plus four. A number that is a multiple of four, but not a multiple of eight has got to be eight k plus four. Eight k plus one three five seven will all be odd numbers. Eight k plus two will be an even number. But will not be a multiple of four. 8k plus six will again be an even number, but not a multiple of four. The number is a multiple of four, but not of eight. It has got to be of the form 8k plus four, or the last digit has to be four. Now, the last digit in this number is the last non-zero digit in the expansion of 40 factorial. Or to come back to our question, the last non-zero digit. In base eight form of 40 factorial is four. An absolutely wonderful question, very tough question, but it gives us a beautiful idea of thinking about last digits in different bases. What is that meant by? It also gives us some practice with 40 factorial. Highest power of eight that divides 40 factorial. Find the highest power of two that divides 40 factorial, and then make a further inference from that. So we have solved this question. Find the highest power of eight that divides. Keep that aside. See what you're left with. And then manipulate that to find the last digit. Absolutely fabulous question, a really tough question. So go over the solution to get the idea underlying it. It is perhaps not likely that your your question, the exam will be as tough as this, but this is still a good question to practice towards the question that you will see in your exam.